Hey everyone, it's me, Yvonne Emil Elizondo from Silver Moon Astrology and Transpersonal Counseling, also known as Silver Moon Counseling. Oh my gosh, it's been a doozy of a morning. Like seriously, I, I have to, I just got back from the gym, so I'm mm, a little icky, um, but uh, it, I, okay, so let me just start off by saying we have the new moon in Sagittarius here in a few hours. So actually I'm ahead of the game because I'm recording this before the new moon actually happens. So yay me. Um, but man, Mercury stationing to turn retrograde is kicking our behind. <laughs> and this is happening in Capricorn. So um, I want to give you some insight about this uh, new moon in Sagittarius and then um, a little sprinkle of what this Mercury retrograde in Capricorn could potentially um, be like for us. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to start off by sharing um, my screen. Man, the tech issues, the communication issues, I've already started, I have to tell you. Okay, here we go. So this um, new moon is happening uh, today, which is Tuesday, 12-12 at um, 5.31 p.m. So again, I'm ahead of the game. This is awesome. There we go. Okay. And so here we have this beautiful Sagittarius new moon. Please don't pay attention to the houses. I'm I don't pay attention to where the houses are. Um, let's just pay attention to the planets and the aspects that they're making. So here's this new moon in Sagittarius. Okay. I love Sagittarius um, energy and my brother Sagittarius. He's, he's like visionary moving forward. And so I really love that energy. I'm Capricorn history moving backward. Anyhow. So here we go. We have the Sagittarius um, new moon. It is closely conjunct to Mars. So Mars is an influence here. Now you will see that this um, new moon is um, squaring Neptune. Now Neptune is direct now. Okay. So it, it is a plus Neptune is in Pisces. So again, oh, this is a, mm. anyhow. So here we have um, Mercury stationing today. It turns retrograde tomorrow in Capricorn. It is trining Jupiter um, retrograde. So that gives it a little bit of a numph, but yeah, let's 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 talk about all of this because we do have some um really interesting astrology that we're working with. Okay, so first let's start off by as always talking about the new moon. Okay, the new moon is the beginning of a lunar month. It's a great time to set intentions for what we want to focus on um and bring into our life. It could be anything related to anything that you want it to be related to. Okay, so it is the lunar month, it is the new beginnings, and it is about intention setting. Now let's talk about this fiery Sagittarius energy, okay? Because Sagittarius, I, I said, is very visionary. It's very moving forward. Um, it is considered the guru of the, oh man, I'm going to say that and it's going to go to my brother's head. I know it is, okay? <laughs> um, you know, he's super cool. He's super humble. I love him. But um, Sagittarius is known as the visionaries, as the gurus, as the wisdom and truth seekers, okay? Sagittarius is about knowledge. It's about wisdom. It's about dreams and goals and, and expansion and moving forward. And so it tends to have a very, that fire energy is very inspiring and very um, motivating. If I, if anything, I can say, I, I have another beautiful Sagittarius friend. He is a visionary as well, and he's very motivated and inspiring. And so um, that's really energy of Sagittarius. So this new moon is very much about what is it that you want to envision moving forward? And it's a wonderful time. Think about it. We're coming to the end of the year. Okay. Um, this is, you know, the last new moon of um, 2023. And so this would be a great time to take account of what you would like to um, envision for maybe 2024. Okay. So it's about setting the um, intention for gaining insight and wisdom Okay, about what you really want to focus on in um, the future. 2024 is a wonderful time to do this. Okay, so Mars involved. Mars is activating, it's motivating, but it could also be separating. Okay, so it can create a little bit more fire with the Sagittarius fire that's already happening. Um, so you may feel like you're more motivated to, you know, get, get something done. You're really trying to, um, you know, take action. And then, you know, somehow Mars, because it's connecting to Saturn in this really kind of restrictive way, um, may make you feel like you have this vision and you. You have the ideas, but you can't seem to move forward with them. Okay. So know that there might be some sense of like, you know, really wanting to, you know, move forward, but being able maybe not to completely gain ground as you do that. Now, 
I'm going to say that this Neptune piece, okay, so with the new moon squaring Neptune, Neptune is in Pisces, Neptune is beautifully creative, it's inspiring, it's um, spiritual, okay, it's imaginative, um, but the underbelly of Neptune um, and the way that it, it's connecting with this new moon makes me feel that it could be more of a, I can't see things clearly type of energy. I can't seem to, you know, I, I know the vision, but maybe the vision is too big, or maybe the vision isn't, you know, it, it doesn't have enough details. Maybe I have an idea where I want to go, but maybe I'm missing all of those little details that are going to get me going in that direction. Okay. So this Neptune squaring the moon can make me feel like there's some opportunity for misunderstandings, misperceptions, miscommunications, um, maybe feeling like you're lacking inspiration. Maybe you're not tapping into that imaginative, creative essence um, feeling during this new moon. And that's okay because maybe the goal is to establish the intentions, okay, as we move away from this energy to gain some wisdom and some understanding and some truth, okay, and some insight as we move away from this um, new moon. Now, let's talk a little bit about this um, Mercury stationing in Capricorn. So, to turn retrograde. So we love our Mercury retrogrades, don't we? Yes, we do. So this one is uh, starts off originally in Capricorn. Capricorn is very much about structure. It's about, um, you know, consistency, um, stability. It likes facts. It likes to be very concrete in its communication, its thinking. And so when Mercury starts to turn retrograde, you may start to experience some of those qualities to go wonky, okay, especially with the direct communication. Now, um, as Mercury retrogrades, it's going to ingress back into Sagittarius. And so there's going to be the shift in Mercury retrograde that you might feel from a very direct concrete, serious, um, you know, Mercury retrograde to a more jovial and maybe childlike, okay, type of Mercury retrograde as we get um, closer to the middle of, of um, you know, this retrograde. So um, it starts Mercury retrograde officially starts tomorrow, which is the 14th, December 14th, and it travels all the way and doesn't turn direct until January 3rd. So, January 3rd and 4th. Okay. So you're going to see this difference in this Mercury retrograde that again, turns from a very consistent, um, looking for the facts, direct communication. And then all of a sudden, you know, those facts may not be present. You may have those misunderstandings, you know, the, 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 the stability of communication is probably going to go. The practicality of communication is probably, Mm, going to be a hit or miss. And then when um, Mercury ingresses back into Sagittarius, as it's retrograding, you know, that more jovial, maybe childlike, fun um, type of communication, you may start to see some of the wonkiness happening with that too. So again, maybe um, double check your communications. That's what we were, my daughter and I were just dealing with an email from a, a professor that was like, no, you are getting this grade. And she's like, no, but I earned this grade. And so classic, classic of what's happening with this new moon squaring Neptune and Mercury stationing to turn retrograde. So um, overall, I think the quality of the astrology is going to change. Um, you know, Mercury retrograde tends to be a more inconsistent time. I don't want to say challenging, but it's a more inconsistent time um, collectively. And so because it is the messenger of the gods, um, I would expect delays especially during Christmas um, rush, right? Expect delays, expect, you know, um, things to get lost, things to go like end up in the wrong places. Okay. Um, I know I hate to say that, especially when we're expecting our deliveries, but it's not just about the products and the stuff that we're buying that may get lost. Um, travel might be a little bit more challenging during this time obviously because it's Christmas. So just add that on top of it just being Christmas. And um, so I would expect for you to practice a lot of patience, <laughs> especially me too. So how can we use this for some spiritual growth? Well, look, um, Sagittarius is the truth seeker. Okay. It is the spiritual um, guru in the sense, right? It, it really, it's ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter and Mercury are connecting um, by trine, even though Jupiter is retrograde, they are connecting by trine. So there's an emphasis that's going to help this Mercury retrograde. But essentially what I would say is this, I'm going to go back to the 
take this opportunity for this new moon to envision your goals and your dreams for 2024. Okay. This is the beginning, um, the planning stages for this. When we get to the new moon to, excuse me, to the full moon, you can release, you know, all of those intentions for sure. Or, or I don't want to say release because we release them now, but we can really set that out into the universe and check to see how things are going for you. Do you need to readjust those plans? Do you need to gain some insight? Do you need to, you know, um, maybe tap into more of the details? Okay. Maybe more information that you may need, or maybe you just need to be more imaginative about what the future looks like. So I think this would be a great time to step into that essence. Know that this you know, time might be communication challenging. It might be like you feel you want to move forward, but you somehow can't. This will pass. Okay. Once we transition into the second half of December, the the vibe for December um starts to change. You know, um, yeah. So uh it's a great time for visionary work. There we go. That's it. That's the title of this one. Great time for visionary work. All right, everyone. If you want to learn more about your astrology and see how the um, energy impacts you, um, you know, directly, again, this is a general reading. Um, yeah. Or if you want to strategize, plan, make some plans for uh, 2024, see how your year is going to go in 2024 with the astrology, please come and see me. We can definitely schedule a strategizing session, a consultation. And if you're interested in just your natal astrology, just to check to see how, you know, your plan are working in your favor or maybe not so much in your favor, you can come and see me. You can find me at silvermooncounseling.org. All right, that is it. So off I am. I'm crossing my fingers that I will not have any issues uploading this video because um, I've been interrupted three times. Uh, my battery died in the middle of it and then I was recording, but I truly wasn't recording. So I'm hoping that this is going to be the end of this video and you will be able to see it. All right, everyone, take care and um, enjoy your Sagittarius new moon. Blessed be.